Chances are you've heard of OpenAI. They're the company behind ChatGPT. Now today in Quick Connect, we're going to integrate with OpenAI's APIs to use both their GPT-4 model and their DALI image generation model to enrich data in our director's project. Here, I've got a set of articles, a set of recipes, and we'll be using OpenAI to write a social post for us to promote this article and to generate an image which we can then use uh, on the web page or in social posts. On the OpenAI side, all we're going to need is an API key. So head over to your dashboard, create a secret key, take note of it somewhere, we'll use it later, and then we're ready to go over into Directus and set things up there. So over in our Directus project, let's create a new flow. Let's call this one Generate Social Post, and we will use a manual trigger on the articles collection on the item page. So this is our trigger. I want to show you something interesting about this. So if we go over and refresh our item, we now see we can generate a social post here. Going back over to the flow and refreshing it and taking a look at the logs, we see here that we only get the ID of the article and we actually want to use the title of the article. So the first thing we need to do is create an operation called article and we're going to read that whole uh, the whole article object so we'll be going into the articles collection with full access and we will want the trigger dot body dot keys zero so that is inside of that object where the id for this item is so now article will return the entire object now it's time to go and actually go to OpenAI and get it to generate a post for us. So we'll create a new operation, I'll call it generate, and we'll make a web request. This will be a post request to their chat completions endpoint. Now we need to authenticate ourselves with our API key. We'll do that with a header, authorization, bearer, space, and then our API key and then our request body. Now, it's a little bit of a big object, so I'm going to copy and paste a starting point to discuss here. We'll be using the GPT-4 model, and there are two messages we're going to send in an array. The first is a primer for the system to tell it what we expect of it. So we're telling it here, they're an editor of a food blog, they take in recipes, they spit out social posts, and the audience is busy professionals with little time. And of course, you can tweak this for your specific use case. And then we get to write our actual prompt itself. So I'll say, write a Twitter post for our article dot title recipe. So this is a dynamic value that is returned out of this object here. Let's hit save. Let's hit save again. And let's rerun this flow. Notice it takes a little bit longer to run this time. That's because it's actually going off to open AI and back. So if we refresh here, we'll see a new log appears. And we'll see the returned value contains a data object with an array called choices. And inside of this object is a message and content. And that is a viable social post, or at least a starting point, something to help us out. So the last thing we want to do here is actually save that social post back to the item. So we will add one final operation here. We will update data. We will update an article using that same key from earlier. So uh, trigger.body.keys0, I believe is what it was. And the payload we want to send is going to be social. That's the name of the field. And the value, um, it's quite nested. I did take note of where it was earlier, though. Generate, because that's the name of the operation that returns this value. Generate dot data dot choices. That was an array dot message dot content. So let's save that. Let's refresh here and let's just try this one more time. So lemon herb roasted chicken. We will hit generate social post. We'll wait just a moment and we should see over there in the social box, our social post has been created. So that's the first half of what we're doing today. This is a double whammy. So now we're gonna create a new flow to generate an image. So now let's create a second flow for the image generation. 
I'll call this one generate image. It will be a manual flow trigger again on articles on the item page, except this time we're going to ask the user for an image prompt. So we will require a confirmation, which will pop up a modal you'll see in a moment. So I'll call this confirm and we can provide any number of keys. We just want one prompt. Of course, you might choose to make this a little more descriptive to users, but we're just going to add an input with the value well, with the name of prompt. So what we're going to do, actually, once again, let's see how this works. So let's go back to our item. Let's refresh. And inside of flows, there's now two. Here's generate image, and here's our prompt. So I will call this lemon herb roasted chicken in a baking dish. And I'm sure you could create something a little more creative. Let's run the flow. Let's refresh our flow and take a look at where that prompt has gone. And just like before, inside of our body, we have an array of keys. So that's the ID of the article. But we also have this prompt here. So we're going to use that and immediately go off to DALI, the image generation endpoint. And we will um, and we'll generate an image using that prompt. So we'll call this one generate. We'll make a web request again. It will be a post request to this URL. Once again, we need to validate ourselves. So we will add the same header as before, authorization, bearer space token. And then we have the request body. This is what the request body looks like. We pass in the prompt. We specify the size from one of the provided allowed sizes. With DALI 3 at the moment, you can only generate one variation at a time. But if you use other DALI models, you might be able to generate multiple. We'll just use one, and that's the name of the model. So let's hit Save once again, and we will rerun this flow. And we see that's taking a little longer because now it's actually going off and generating an image for us. We'll wait for that to be complete here. We'll go back to the flow. We'll refresh to look at the new log. And we'll see here that in the data that is returned is an array called data with a revised prompt and a URL. Now we want to import this image via URL into our directors project. Now, flows don't provide a way to do that out of the box. So I'm actually using this lovely community uh, community extension, which does allow us to import images from external URLs. So I will link this along with the video. Um, but I've already gone ahead and made that extension available in this directors project. So let's add a new operation here. We will use this file import. I think I'll call this one import. And we provide the URL. So that came from the step that we called generate dot data dot data and dot URL, like so. And what file import will do is return just a string. And the string is the ID of the newly imported file in Directus. So instead of demoing it at this point, we're just going to go ahead straight away and include that image inside of our post. So we'll update data once again, very similar to before. Articles, full access. The ID again will be trigger.body dot keys zero and the payload will be image and we just want that value there so import because it doesn't return an object it just returns a string so let's hit save and that should be everything we need so we have lemon herb roasted chicken here so let's go ahead and generate the image Let me get my prompt back. We'll run flow on the current item. We'll give that a few moments to complete. It should go off, generate the image, import it to direct us, and then update this item with that newly imported file. So let's see if that works. There we go. 
Fantastic. Hurrah. So in this episode of Quick Connect, a little bit longer, we've done two things with the Open API, uh, the Open AI APIs. We have created a flow which on demand can create a social post. And the nice thing is if you don't like it or you don't like the image, you can just press the buttons again and it will go ahead and regenerate them. And the second one generates an image with the DALI uh, model. It imports it into Directus using that extension and then includes it here inside of the item. I hope you found this super interesting. I had a lot of fun putting this one together and go forth and have fun. See you next time.